two, three, four, five, six. Hi, welcome to the topic of simultaneous equations. Here we have a clone question based on the year 2005. Clone 2005 SPM paper 2 section A number 1. Solve the following simultaneous equations. 2x plus 3y minus 5 equals 0. x squared plus xy minus 2y squared equals to 10. Now this question is worth 5 marks. The solution. Now okay, you are given 2x plus 3y minus 5 equals to 0. The linear equation. Okay, from here we move the 3y and the negative 5 to the right. And then we move the 2 down, divide. So we have x equals to 5 minus 3y over 2. Let this be equation 1. Now always simplify like this before you let it be equation 1. Because it will be very convenient for your working. Now, let this, the non-linear equation, be equation 2. x squared plus xy minus 2y squared equals to 10. Let it be equation 2. Okay, now, substitute x equals to 5 minus 3y over 2 into equation 2. The whole thing, substitute into equation 2. That means here and here. That means here and here. Okay. So when once we substitute we get 5 minus 3y over 2 squared. That is x squared. Huh? Plus 5 minus 3y over 2. That is the x here. Times the y. Minus 2y squared equals to 10. Now we simplify this, we expand 5 minus 3y squared. 5 minus 3y squared becomes 25 minus 30y plus 9y squared. Over 2 squared. 2 squared is 4. Plus y times 5 is 5y. y times 3y is 3y squared. So 5y minus 3y squared. Over 2 minus 2y squared equals to 10. Now, what do you do? You multiply all the terms by the LCM of 4 and 2. The LCM of 4 and 2 is 4. So we multiply all the terms by 4. So you get 25 minus 30y plus 9y squared over 4 times 4 plus 5y minus 3y squared over 2 times 4 minus 2y squared times 4 equals to 10 times 4. Now this is a magic step because when you do that, when you multiply all by the LCM of the denominator, the fraction disappears. So this is what we get now. 25 minus 30y plus 9y squared plus 10y minus 6y squared minus 8y squared equals to 40. So we get negative 5y squared minus 20y plus 25 equals to 40. Now, for calculation purposes or for factorizing purposes, make sure that the coefficient of y squared is positive. So we move everything to the right. So this is what we get. 0 equals to 5y squared plus 20y plus 15. Divide all by 5. Divide all the terms by 5. So we get 0 equals to y squared plus 4y plus 3. Factorizing this, we get 
0 equals to y plus 3 times y plus 1. So from here we get y equals to negative 3 or negative 1. Now, when y equals to negative 3, you substitute into the equation 1. Here, into equation 1. When y equals to negative 3, put here negative 3, you get 5 minus 3 times negative 3 over 2, which works out to 7. So, when x is 7, y is negative 3. Okay. Now, when y is negative 1 here, you substitute negative 1 here. In equation 1, so x is equal to 5 minus 3 times negative 1 over 2, which works out to 4. Therefore, the solutions are x equals to 7, y equals to negative 3. See, x equals 7, y is negative 3. x equals to 4, y equals to negative 1. From here, x equals to 4, y equals to negative 1. As simple as that. Thank you.